Yay! Commence the stream. Whenever uh, Rule the Waves decides it likes to start. Oh no, there it is. I have no clue how many viewers I have. I'm just going to assume somebody's watching, which is hysterical. But anyway, uh, welcome everybody to another Rule the Waves. As you can see, I've got my cap on, I've got my heels on, I've got my sailor skirt. Although I will point this out, slightly more logical looking sailor outfits. I use logical because when you buy stuff that look a bit like the sailor outfits that we think uh, that Japanese school, you know, girls are always wearing. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit more logical, but still, this will go with it. My heels will go with it. It'll be cool. But today we will be restarting, restarting our U.S. game. And the reason for this is after two Italian defeats and one Japanese defeat on my laptop, I realized that I have been playing the game wrong completely. One hundred percent completely is wrong. So we are going to pick the United States of America. Uh, again, they get twenty. Uh, they get thirty-two thousand naval budget, which is cool. That's pretty good. Uh, they have bonus tech to X and B superimposed turrets. They start with eleven inch. Oh, they actually start with twelve. And they are a technology a technology leader, and they have the rapid economy growth, which honestly are both really goods. Um, as I discovered, the British, which can only, which you can see by clicking this, they have the hidden flaws. Yeah, they are a technology leader, they're a global naval power, they're efficient shipbuilding industry, but they have hidden flaws, which I don't really like. Uh, they have the biggest budget, though, to offset this problem. So we're going to go right into it. And we are going to pick a medium fleet, legacy fleet. I've been on my current Japanese game, I have been... Um, on my current Japanese game, I have been testing the very technology to see what this does. It is really cool. Because like I said, in short, technology doesn't follow history. It's so cool because nobody's really advanced. Like, some people are advanced, but some people are not, and it's not so streamlined, and I'm actually having so much fun because for once as Japan, I don't feel like I really am behind in a massive gape, <laughs> as gross as using that term was. Here, I'm not going to do varied yet because I need to see really how it pans out overall with my Japan game but my next stream where I will play Britain just because I will do very technology also legacy the size of your fleet also augments how much everything costs with my Japan I started large and docks cost two million three hundred thousand whereas in medium it's only a million six hundred thousand to make docks so is so is purchasing and selling technology they go up and the reason is because you start with the larger fleets, the game gives you more money, but everything costs more. So I get it's actually kind of like a, a balanced uh, weight. So we're going to jump right into this again without wasting too much time. Yes, I want to erase that one because we do. And I discovered something else cool, that I can actually draw and design little pictures for my ships. Come on, game. Thank you. Um, okay, so uh, right off the bat, the very, very first thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be actually liking these destroyers. The new destroyers they gave us are great, so I just want berries. The Decatur, Decatur, De Decatur, yeah, can just go and uh, die. Uh, they can be scrapped. Because I don't like short range destroyers and I don't like them having cramped quarters. As I explained last time, that's both very, very bad. And short range anything is a waste of time. Which is why the Truxtons will not be made because they have cramped quarters. And again, I, di I completely despise cramped quarters completely now Montana and Air New Jersey cool they're gonna be made but we're going to actually immediately um, we're gonna hit some research here high on armor machinery and hull uh, I definitely want light forces I want bigger tour I want um, larger sized um, destroyers and 10% is all you can do. I don't know if a nation can break that, but secretly, if anyone could, I, I would guess it would be the British. Other than that, though, I don't think anybody else can. Um, so from here on, what we're going to do is we're actually going to design a new ship already. We're already going to design a new battleship. And what I learned from my Japanese game, which is where I really, really learned it bad, is... 
Um, as I had shortly explained last time, technology was rapidly changing so quickly at this point for ships that by the time a ship, and especially in the case of Germany or really just any, any anyone who wasn't Britain, by the time a ship was laid down, it was <clears throat> it was obsolete um, because the technology had already been completely tossed out the door at this point. And this actually stays extremely true to this game. Uh, I'm going to have the British build it for me because I want to steal some of their secrets once they give it to me as well, which you can do. Your engineers, your engineers will analyze the way that um, the way that the person in question built the ship and you will actually gain small amounts or a considerable amount of knowledge depending on how they built things differently. And judging by the fact that I don't think anyone has anything over me, nobody, I'm not really going to gain anything for now. So we have 14 6 inch um, casemates which for those who tuned in for Jutland yesterday will know that they were those turreted ones that stuck out on the sides and then were on the also facing forward or backwards inside the hull right around uh, not the not exactly the water line but above it uh, the tertiaries are all the smaller guns there's 16 3 inch tertiaries which I could give two bleeps about <laughs> I'm gonna keep them anyway so we're gonna save this ship and we're gonna put one into production even though this is probably gonna break uh, my economy already it will put us into the red yes and not only are we in the red we are gaining red so preble that's interesting we have so many destroyers here we are going to put we're going to put new jersey on hold and we're going to let we're going to let her be on hold i might even just scrap her and as you can see again as i stated it's already I've screwed myself but the reason for this is because I've learned in my Japanese game that you need to you need to seriously keep up with the ship technology you need to consistently be building new ships even if the new ship even if the new ship has just one little thing that's new it is still best for that ship to make it on on the scene because it can then replace one that is horrendously obsolete for example and you can scrap that one and you're no longer paying maintenance or anything for that so problems in delivery of the equipment has, you know, affected is delayed Montana. Also, I forgot to send out my spies, which will now ruin me just a little bit more. Oh, that's actually not that significant. There, yeah, intelligence reports that Japan has a new ship under construction of the Asama heavy cruiser, and it's rumored to carry 8-inch guns, owie. And then they also are constructing the battleship Mikasa, which has a top speed of 19 and a belt of 9 inches. Ouch. It's not too bad though. Japan has laid down two more Hakase class destroyers. Japan is super fun to play. They're all up there in their own little world and whatever. But they do they do own um Furo I don't pronounce it right because I keep thinking it's Okinawa, but it's not. Uh actually Okinawa is one of these little ones here. Um here they own Ah, Formosa, that's it. They own Formosa and they own Southern Korea which is actually really cool. Uh, we, again, own, which, had I known clicking on it worked, we own the Philippines, um, Guam, that's it, that's Guam, and that's obviously Hawaii. <laughs> North American West Coast, it won't even tell me, but yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Um, oh, wait, yeah, and of course, the uh, Aleutians, of course, and then Alaska. And then we also own Panama, Guantanamo Bay. Whoops, whoa, whoa, hello, camera work, camera work. And then Puerto Rico, yeah. So yeah, so that's all our holdings. Which is amazing, it must be terrifying to be Britain, which is why I wanna do Britain next. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into service and you're in Southeast Asia, so New York's in Southeast Asia. We're gonna send Arizona. And we're going to send Chicago and San Francisco along with Barrie, Bainbridge, um, Chansey, and Hull. And they're all going to go, oh, well, uh, all, all but New York, because New York's already in Southeast Asia. 
and you are going to move ships to Southeast Asia. Now, um, <clears throat> I do have enough funds to build destroyers, so what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to make destroyers. We're going to get rid of these ones, because these ones are the ones that are short-ranged and useless. Very cost about that much. Um, the reason I'm looking for the one that costs the most is because in re... Nope, the Truxton is the one that's got the cramped quarters. I don't want anything to do with that either. So, Prebles and Barry. So, Barry's are old, tru Truxton's are new. So, we're going to put four new Truxton's into production. And also, um, USA seems to only take nine months to build a destroyer, whereas Japan took ten and Italy takes ten. Uh, Italy takes a nightmarish time to make uh, ships, though, because of their poor education, negative modifier that they have. You are due to hold a speech at the annual gathering of the Navy League. What is the gist of your speech? And this is how the game can screw you, which I've noticed as uh, on my laptop I keep doing this. The siege, the, the, the siege, the siege should be kept peaceful for the prosperity of all nations. I will lose budget, prestige, and tension. I like losing tension, but prestige and budget, I really don't. We are prepared to safeguard the interest of our nation. Let's, you know what, let's badmouth someone. The freedom of the seas is threatened by the imperialistic ambitions of tension will rise really bad, but prestige and budget will go up too. We are going to say it is Japan just because they have the least amount of hatred for me. And now my budget went up, my prestige went up, which you need. That's how I lost my second Italian game. My prestige went down to 14 and I got kicked out. I survived for 20 years and they named a uh, engine after me, which was both kind of cool and kind of not. <laughs> um, we have more ships in Northern Europe than our bases can support. And the reason for the ships going around is because we don't have the Panama Canal yet. And I don't know if the game is ever supposed to really open that up or not. It should, but I don't think we have it yet. And we need more dock sizes. So, so 1 million 600 and exactly to build it with a Japan game with a larger fleet, it's 2 million 300. So everything goes up in price because you have a higher budget. All right, so we're gonna end the turn again. Oh, yay. My spies have gotten, have managed to get the blueprints of the new Japanese heavy cruiser Tokiwa. Oh, she's 11,100 tons at 20 knots, five and a half inches at the belt, two inches at the deck, four and a half in her turrets, and ten at her coning tower. She's got fourteen six-inch guns, and eleven four-inch, fourteen four-inch. Oh, I see, but they made those secondaries so itty-bitty tiny that they're barely noticeable. And she has two submerged, eighteen-inch submerged torpedoes, and she has central range finder, which practically everybody has. Hang on a minute. Uh, someone's at the door and my parents don't hear it, so hang on. This is not what I wanted in my stream. But... Well, there's something to cro there's a span of time to crop out of my video now. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so we're back and yeah, so. I don't remember what... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they must have sacrificed the size of their secondaries to uh, fit more of the primaries, which is doable. You can even be gone with secondaries if you want. Uh, which we will try on one of ours. Thinking about doing it to a light cruiser, though, so it's not so significant of an uh, impact. So we're going to end the turn again because there's nothing... Okay, so a scandal involving some important dignitaries from Germany has occurred at a party given on a world cruise by one of our ships. How do you handle the incident? I think if I hush it up... I lose prestige, but frankly, a war already is not something I want. Hush it up. Research breaker, machinery development, improved surface condenser. See, that's the other thing too, or it's almost the other thing. When you use the varied technology, you definitely don't know what your people are going to research. Um, not varied, it's a little more streamlined. You won't always know, so it's not always the same, but it's still more linear than varied. Varied really just moshes it all up and it's super fun. Our scientists uh, report that they are within a cat's whisker of comprehending Krupp armor. Cool. Um, Great Britain has commissioned uh, Cordelia, a light cruiser, and France has commissioned a light cruiser of the Sir Coif class. We have more ships in the Indian Ocean that our bases can support. I don't care. They're not even staying in the Indian Ocean. Um, 
now. Under construction. Ah, da 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 da. Yeah, uh, that's something that I learned very badly too from my Japanese game. Not fortifying your your um your holdings is very dangerous. Very very dangerous. I mean, it won't make the biggest difference, but it does matter kind of to a point. I mean, during the battle, they, the coastal batteries will open up on the enemy ships if they're in range, and obviously the size of the guns matters in the range as well. But at the same time, you do have to pay for coastal batteries, and so, quite frankly, I'm not too... I'm not too excited to pay large swarms for coastal batteries where my ships can easily do the job. <laughs> Hang on, try to put my heels back on. This is so annoying. <laughs> okay, whatever. Azuma, let's see here, let's see here. Two t see, this is more rounded. Two 10-inch guns and single turrets. See, they opted to go with singles only. She's 18 knots only because battleships of high speed at this point don't really exist. That was a fly. Um... But she is carrying 16 7-inch secondaries in undoubtable casemates, or they are casemates. It's, uh, they might be, actually, or they might not be. 12 3-inch guns, which are tertiaries. And then she's got the two submerged, which most ships carry. I tend to put tons of submerged torpedoes on mine, um, often sacrificing their guns so that they can broadside really badly during battles. But this is, this is questionable, nonetheless. So now we have Krupp armor or at least we've gotten it. There are indications that someone stole industrial secrets from us. This happens a lot, sadly. Uh, Japan is building larger docks, and they would need to, because Japan cannot build any large ships at the beginning. They are very, they're very small, their docks. Um, okay, yeah, so Oklahoma, you're being built in Great Britain. Oh, right, the whole drawing thing that I was telling you about. Change picture, generate picture. Here you can actually draw a little, uh, like have the game draw a little picture. Like I want the bow to be a ram, and I want the stern to be counter, and I want the funnels to be high. You can generate a little ship. You can raise the forecast, cut down the quarter deck, uh, which we want. And then just for fun, you can go and you can put little bridges and stuff like that on the, on the picture. Little lifeboats, things like that. And this is a battleship. It's gonna need more than that. <laughs> um, that's floating, so you know that's that's great. Um, but you can also select from you know different ones, different things, things like this, uh, like different masts, uh, like that. Like for example, this is a very interesting mast that I might just as a joke use as a bridge. Oops, use as a bridge on one of my designs. And we're going to put that back, so see there, save and exit. It's a little cute little thing, and I think it's because it's when you show the design, like view data. It's, you know, it'll show this, but then you can also have the picture, too. Uh, the AI never really draws those, I don't think, though. So, next, we're going to, we're going to end a turn again. Uh, okay, France has laid down another light cruiser, but that's fine. That's that's what I should be doing as well. I should be laying down constant ships, but because of the game creating so many battleships by default, or not so many battleships, but just two battleships that are already pretty big, and then, you know, my own, which is huge, which is, you know, the biggest one we're going to be fielding, regardless of its weirdness. Uh, it's pretty, you know, intensive, plus I'm building the... Ah, that's the other thing, the minesweepers. That's what I didn't want to make a mistake in forgetting too early this time, was the minesweepers. Um, she'll go 16, which is what is what she's by default, so all okay, all okay. And we are going to lay down two of them, because they're cheap. Minesweepers cost them nothing. Design ships. Uh, a light cruiser. Now, this is where we're going to play with the guns. I'm going to have so much fun doing this. Um, yeah, she has no tertiaries, and that's fine, because I don't want her to have any. She'll go, she'll go 22. We'll leave it at that. 
Um, so we're gonna add a forward and an aft, and then a port forward wing, and then uh, maybe starboard wing. Um, port aft wing. Let's see. We'll see what it looks like. That's actually what I wanted. It looks weird, but that's what I wanted. I wanted to kind of just give them only like one or two wings, although there's actually three here. Uh, you are what? I wish it would tell me which one you're supposed to be. I think you're your port forward, your starboard wing, your port aft wing, and you need one more. You need. You need um, Port forward. Okay, so ports. That's it. Right. So you need starboard, aft wing. Whoops. Nope. Nope. Wrong one again. There we go. It's okay. We're not. We're not doing that. Relax. That's the funky ship. Even though they're all on one side now. That is randomly weird. But I'm gonna let it. I'm just gonna let it just for fun. We're gonna up the number of these guns. Actually, we're gonna up their size, their overall size. And we're gonna make them in casemates for fun. <clears throat> there we go. They're much fatter now. Turrets are not balanced. <laughs> Damn, the game is actually capable of knowing that. Fine. And then we will get rid of the starboard wing, port aft wing. Hmm. Ah, oh, she became just slightly too big. There we go. I mean, yeah, fine. She's a bit more now, but anyway. Oh, wing turrets of a 17 caliber are larger and not allowed on ships smaller than 5,000 tons. Oops, never mind. Very well then. We're gonna lower our. Um, actually, we're gonna bring the size down completely. We're gonna make this thing as small as humanly possible, then. Yay, all is okay. Yes, we want to save her as Columbia. And we want to make one, even though I'm gonna break my bank. Halt construction of Columbia just for the time being. Ooh, oil has been discovered in the Falkland Islands. Oh, lucky Britain. Although they have to learn the, the oil firing. Once they do, they will be very lucky and be able to use it. Ooh, breakthrough. Fire control. Er, uh, coincidence range finding. Very cool. Ooh, heavy secondary batteries. There we go. Enables secondary guns heavier than 7-inch in case made or single turrets. Alright. Vetter Piscini. Trude. Or Trude. Alright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Research breakthrough in torpedo techs. Improved hydro, uh, hydrostatic valve. Very cool. With tensions low, Parliament votes to reduce naval spending. Ugh. You're gonna break me. Oh, wow. Italy's new destroyer turbine has a top speed of 24 knots and is rumored to carry 3-inch main guns, which is not a threat, but its speed is. In three turns, Montana will be done, and in two turns, the destroyers will be finished. We're going to resume you so you can keep up with your sister. 
There's been an internal upheaval in Cuba. France is apparently sending a force there. Austin to restore order, but is likely they have more far-reaching plans. We can demand that they back down. No, we should push for an international force. France reluctantly recalls the expedition to Cuba as an international force arrives. Nice. It's the first time that's ever worked. Oh, France is mad. <laughs> Ooh, Russia has commissioned the uh, light cruiser Svetlana. Very cool. And of course, Britain has uh, commissioned Repulse. Very cool. And in another turn, I will have uh, four more Prebles. And we've also finished the construction of the five inch coastals and the four inch coastal in the Philippines. And of course, the ships have been commissioned into the Navy. Very cool. We can now have 600 ton displacement destroyers. Very nice. That's what I wanted. Nice. Uh, Dee Dee uh, Warden is commissioned to the Navy. During the trials, it is found that she is e the ship is easily surpassing her design speed. Nice. Okay. And press on uh, the German three-inch guns are better performance than ours. And it's not surprising. And uh, okay, why did Montana not finish? Hello. Finish, Montana. Okay, fine. The minesweeper Annie Perry is commissioned. Uh, is found it surpasses its design in Navy trials. And Annie F. Kenlin is also commissioned in the Navy, as is Montana. The president floats the idea of a shooting competition for all the ships in the Navy. I like the idea of this. He believes this will increase morale and combat readiness in the fleet. Holding such a competition will substantially increase maintenance costs this month. Who cares? An excellent idea. Yay, Michigan wins the shooting competition. Pressure hull. Yay. The Gazelle class sub. Montana. Okay, the, I don't know freaking cool. Italy has uh, commissioned Messina at the service, light cruiser Messina. And CA San Diego. We will lower her armor considerably so that she's not so heavy. We can also spec the engine for speed, but at this point it won't matter now because now she's still too heavy. And she only goes 20. And also, specking things for speed can cause it to break down a lot. Whereas having the engines be spec for reliability, though heavier, will give her longer last, and then normal is, well, it's what you get. <laughs> um. If we do protected cruiser, she loses a lot of her armor. And her weight. Wait, why are you a B? I didn't ask for a B, I asked for a CA. No wonder. I was wondering, I was like, what? I know she's overweight. Calm down. I will fix her in just a second. What if we give her the singular guns? She has central rangefinder? Excellent. Can we stack on two more? Yes, we can. Can we do it again? Nope. Fine. Seven, 14 7 inch case mated guns. Two 9 inch single turrets. She's got her submerged torpedoes, which I believe she can have more of. I'm not entirely sure. No, she's breaking. Uh, so we'll remove the aft and we'll move the forward. There we go. 
and we'll leave the rest of the weight like that. She won't have anything else. Too many or too heavy secondary guns for displacement. Weird. Or the armored cruiser I made with Japan. Oh, mind you. Hang on. Ah. That's unfortunate. But it saves itself. Because now she can go 21 knots. Alright, alright, San Diego, you sexy, sexy gal, you. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Pittsburgh. We have Pittsburghs as uh, armored cruisers. New York. Yeesh, you're a big girl. San Diego's pretty big, though. 8,100. We're not going to put you into service yet because you're going to break the bank. <laughs> Or we're gonna put you into production. Oh, we have two, two Pittsburghs. Three, actually, we have three Pittsburghs and three New Yorks. Only two Chicagos and four San Franciscos. Hmm. Chicago costs that much. Wow, well, Chicago costs more. And we have how many Chicagos? Two only. That explains it because they're expensive light cruisers. Um, no, we won't do it. We won't do anything like that. We'll just leave them now. <laughs> France. Actually, I might want to accept this because War of France is not a good thing right now. That would be tantamount to surrender. Our naval strength is a question of National honor and pride. We will, we will not reduce our navy unilaterally. If they are that nervous about armaments, they could call a disarmament conference. A reduction of tension would be welcome, and it would make Parliament happy too. But I would lose budget and tension. But do I lose prestige, though? That's the question. No, I didn't. I can deal with losing the I can deal with losing the uh, budget, but not prestige. Columbia is almost done. New docks are completed. Yay! Italian ship, uh, light cruiser Catania, <laughs> Venezia class, Venice class, and named Catania. That's interesting. The way that they have it, they have eight six-inch guns. 10 3 inch. Ah, I see what you guys did. Okay. Uh oh. Italy has commissioned the Julius Caesar. Japan has commissioned Azuma. Uh, you know what? Based off of what I just saw with the Italian, I'm going to actually try something. Yeah, see, the game just copied his design. Let's take that a bit further, though. Those are the which ones? Those are the starboard wings. Yeah. No, those are the port... Port wing J? Yeah, port wing J. Starboard wing K. And to make it up, you will remove those completely. Actually, we'll remove those completely, and we'll make those 7 inch. Oh, no, we can't. It's too heavy. And we can't put another torpedo either, because it should be too heavy. And she goes 22 knots. I would like to keep that. Denver. Alright. Not yet, because I haven't even put... Uh, Wow, Denver is the heaviest thus far. Mm, Chicago is... Oh, San Francisco is the smallest, I'm sorry. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, um, I'm going to move on now. Okay, so Montana has finished her working up. Scientists report that they are technically close to inventing the Cockburn safety valve. There's rumors that Russian scientists have trouble mastering the principle of improved signaling. 
Hmm. <laughs> New French light cruiser Galilee under construct. Wow, that's an interesting superstructure. Cosmio class. 5,700 ton. Very cool. And this is what it's all about. Making the most random and ugly slash cute looking ships you will ever see in your entire life. Actually, speaking about making the pictures, or making ships, raked, will rake its, um, things. Oh, it looks so adorably weird. <laughs> Let's cut down your forecast. Or is that giant one? I want that giant one to be the coding tower. Oh, I can't have it. Fine. We'll have that there. Oh yeah, because you're not a battleship. <laughs> and you'll have that like that. Not like that. Because, you know, why the hell not, right? That like that. That like that. Ooh, you're weird. Use an exit. Uh, we did it to her, right? New data. No, we never did it to Oklahoma. Uh, add superstructure. And you're gonna want that in the front because you don't want the. Um, you don't want the smoke coming into your face if you're trying to look around, which was one of the problems they always had. Ooh, that looks cool. Ooh, very nice. We can do it to Jersey as well. You'll have the raised forecast again. And... You'll have the really, really big bridge. Which actually I believe can sit on top of something. I think that really big bridge can sit on top of this one. Yeah, I can. Very cool. That you'll have like that. There's a bunch of other little itty bitty uh, mis uh, miscellaneous things you can put too, like uh, other little guns and torpedo tubes and stuff like that. Hull and little other itty bitty turrets and stuff. Okay, end turn. We're gonna end turn twice to make up for that. Uh, report they're close to mastering light it and bursting charges. Our five inch guns are superior to Italian guns of the same. <laughs> Subdivision and damage control, double bottom. Very cool. Our intelligence service acquired important research in subdivision and damage control from Germany. <laughs> now, um, uh, prebles, prebles. First four prebles are going to go to the west coast. and Baltimore, New York and Pittsburgh, and Hurrying, Hur Huntingdon, sorry. And we're going to send Arizona too. Well, Michigan. Sorry, we're going to send Michigan. 
move ships. Michigan, move her. Move, move, move to the North American West Coast. That way we'll have ships over there. This way I'll know where they're going. Uh, we're also going to order the building of more of these. And two more uh, prebles. And now we're losing money. Ooh, a world cruise for the young cadets' plan. What ship should take part? Some of our older ships, budget but no, uh, lose prestige. Some average ships. Some of our newest and most powerful prestige but tension, and I don't need tension, so let's lose uh, one prestige for a little bit of money. There we go. Now we're not so bankrupt anymore. Medium wing turrets, yay! CC Leander, oh, CL Leander. They've commissioned Leander, which is an actual real one. Uh, New Jersey, local yard in New Jersey, Great Britain. Oklahoma's almost done in Great Britain. We will be making ours in the home front, though, from now on. For example, I want to take the design of Oklahoma, and I want to name her a new one, Ohio. But I want her made on the home front instead. And I want her to have... Ah, I see. Um... Wow, now this is going to be a funky battleship, I'm not going to lie. 12 inch singular. We'll do away with some of these uh, tertiary, actually we'll keep the tertiaries. We'll get rid of the aft submerged and the forward submerged torpedo tubes. Shit, it's not enough. We'll get rid of one of the casemates. Actually, we won't even make them casemates anymore. Let's introduce actual turrets to the mix. We'll make them bristle with turrets. Also, the, the, the way the turrets look depends on the armor thickness you've picked. I think. Or was that secondaries that it matters? I'm sorry, it's secondaries. Or not. Whatever. <laughs> Six. Make the turrets weaker. We'll make the turret tops stronger. We'll extend the belt by two. Or deck extended, not the belt. I'm sorry, the belt's already there. Uh, the belt's already there. We're gonna pick up the speed though. She's gonna go 19 knots. And she has her submerged torpedoes, which are broadsided, so she fires them from the side as the up-mounted torpedo tubes aren't a concept yet for bigger ships. I don't know if it's because it took them for- it took them- it seemed to have taken them forever to get it, but I mean, I'm curious as to why. Okay, for second year against it's by 20% due to the lack of the accuracy training and elevation gear. Yeah, that's true, they're gonna suffer from the elevation gear. We're gonna casemate them again. Just trying to pack as many guns onto this thing as I can then to make up for uh, the lack thereof. Alright. Ohio coming in at a fat weight of, just like her sister, uh, Oklahoma. Who will not be built yet because she's, uh, the others aren't cleared yet. Oklahoma accelerate construction. Oh, that won't help. Never mind. One of our minor allies in South America is threatened by neighbor. What policy do you recommend? Back our ally unconditionally, which will raise tension with somebody, but give us budget. Call an international peace conference, which lowers... Uh, I'm going to call that one, but I think I lose prestige for that. 
uh, disarmament conference concludes with much talk, but no concrete results. Tension should go down, though. Yeah, it went down. But I didn't lose prestige either, so I'm happy about that. I think. I don't know. Ooh, new guns. Better 11-inch gun quality. We have more ships in South American East Coast than our bases can support. Oh, no, so the Panama Canal is ready, apparently, but they just don't use the Panama Canal to go to... I'm going to test that. I'm going to bloody test that. I am going to test that with a fury. Once once New Jersey is done, I'm going to send New Jersey out to go and see if she can't use the canal to get to South America. I mean, she'll get to South America, sorry. But then tell her to go to Southeast Asia. Uh, logically, the game should say, yeah, okay. But, um, Southwest America, but we'll see. Games are games. Whoa, 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 my, my. Fuso, the new Japanese battleship Fuso is reported to be carrying 11-inch main guns. But Mikasa has a belt armor of 9 inches. Oh, my. Why are some of the ships there? Oh, no, they are. Okay, South American West Coast to North American West Coast. Southeast Asia. Two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. Ah, good. Jersey's done. Oh. The steel industry wants a stronger navy. They want to help convince the president to increase naval expenditures. What do you do? Mention the importance of strong navy and the steel. I get budget. I get tension. But I could also play it right. Tell them the navy is not a tool for increasing their profits and get prestige instead, which you need. You need prestige as well. So, I decided to do the right thing. And I took the prestige, um, I took the prestige instead and told them no. Ah, good. Oklahoma's almost done, which means we can now put, um, Ohio into construction. Also, Denver. I never produced Denver. The, Na the Nationalist Party manages to get Parliament to authorize increased funding for the Navy. Yay. Oh, yay. The mine layer. Well, some of the mine layers are gone. Oklahoma. Yes. See, this is what I was talking about. Our new ship, B Oklahoma, Battleship Oklahoma, built in Great Britain, has given us valuable insight into British turret and gun mounting technology. Sometimes having them built abroad gives your engineers and your scientists a chance to look over the way that another nation might do it, which is where technology can be partially gained. It isn't always instant. You won't always be like, hey, now you know how to do it the way they did it, but like you now gain a small leap in that field though, which is why I had Oklahoma built abroad. Russia has proposed a five-year security agreement between our our nations. Well, what advice on how to respond? What is my advice on how to respond? Uh, we should enter such an agreement. This could benefit us bo both of us, but I would lose some of the budget, and tension would definitely go down in the world. We should seek broader arrangements to take the interests of all nations into account, budget and tension with everybody. Or we can get tension and budget by just saying, like, you know, no, just bleep off. But we're going to do the one that brings everyone into it. Because I want France to stop being mad at me. Russian research breakthrough. Turret and gun mountings. See, that's probably brought on slightly by what the British technology showed me. All right. This is good. So now Jersey is immediately going to be sent out to go and play. She will go and she will move to the South American West Coast first. And then from there she will jump skip to Southeast Asia and see it should do it. Because otherwise they go around the world. And if the ships went through the Panama Canal, which I thought wasn't working yet, to get to the west coast then yeah 
I guess I guess so. <laughs> um, our newest battleships are a bit too heavy. Uh, actually, speaking of things being way too heavy, where is uh, b -b 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 Denver? Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, San Diego was the one. Details. I did not want your details like that. I actually physically wanted to be able to not develop you because you're kind of old now. You're made in 1901. So was Denver technically. Um, no, don't build ships. Design ship. Denver. Okay, now we're going to take into account all the things the game has given us. Now we're going to make her weigh less. She weighs less because of the new weight saving and machinery saving. And she's protected cruiser anyway. So now she weighs less, which means that she should be cheaper. Denver is now a lot cheaper. Which is what I wanted. <laughs> and same with uh, San Diego. I want San Diego to be less. Okay, well, sadly, she's still going to be at 8,000. 80,000. No, 8,000. I need new glasses. <laughs> this girl really, really needs new glasses. But anyway, uh, okay, all is okay, poor little Denver. I feel, oh yes, because I wanted her to have insane casemates. That's right. Six inch freaking 14, yeah, six inch casemates. All little like porcupine things sticking out of the side. Design already exists. Do you want to save it? Yes, I do. Hey, broke the bank. Anyway, um, Denver, Columbia is almost done, San Diego, Ohio, Ooh, increased by a thousand, Antilles is completed, Nebraska, Reliance, Kingfisher, Rush, nice, a uh, scandal involving some important dignitaries from Germany has occurred on, uh, yo yo, hush it up, why would we want to embarrass the German to begin with? Yay! Early coastal submarines! Yay! Subs! Boom! Boom! That's usually where I start hiding inside my hunter and I just go right under the water. Alright, so now that we have... View 4 will move to the east coast. West Coast, East Coast. They are in the West Coast. Uh, they are in the East Coast. North American West Coast. Minesweepers are needed always, everywhere. Uh, Jersey, did you go to where you were? No, you're in the Caribbean still. Yeah, it takes you time to get there. The Japanese government is interested in buying the rights to the Cockburn safety valve. By all means, Japan. By all means. Intelligent for Japan, gu uh, Japanese gun manufacturer now advertising 11 inch guns. Ooh, Shimakaze. Shima, yeah, Shimakaze. Nice. They've commissioned Shimakaze in um, Okikaze. Great Britain has commissioned the mine sweeper Queen Amelia. Germany has commissioned uh, dest uh, d destroyers S20 and S22. As for those who watched Jutland yesterday, you saw that. But with the Germans, they didn't have names. They were all numbered. And they were all numbered with a different letter generally by their series. Well, the relevance of this I don't know though. So okay, they're going to South uh, Caribbean, South America, Jersey, you are in... Jersey, Jersey, where the hell are you? South American East Coast to South American West Coast, transitioning. Oklahoma has finished her working up. Our top spy managed to get hold of the blueprints for the new Russian like cruiser. Ooh, she has all tiny little itty bitty guns. She has eight six inch mains and twenty four three inch small uh, little casemates. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, it's a Svetlana class. Okay. 
Ooh, six foot rangefinder. There are indicators that unknown nation has stolen secrets from us. Of course, there is. Uh, Jersey, where'd you go now? So you're in the southwest, okay? So now you're going to move to Southeast Asia, which now, because you're there. Okay, we're gonna put two more prebles in construction, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna design a new destroyer soon. As it's time the destroyers get a new one. One of our agents seems to be caught in Russia. Oh no, make the agent a national hero. Prestige and tension. Alright. Oh, it might give you prestige, but it doesn't. It doesn't always. Whipple's finished. Yay. Ooh, face hardening armor. Very cool. Okay, well, not to to not stream so much today. I'm actually going to end it. It's 3:57, and an hour of streaming is good enough, I think, for now. I mean, maybe I'll play more of them later. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but thank you for all those who came and watched. Uh, today wasn't too fascinating. I maybe because I'm already run down. I'm not. I'm not too sure. I don't feel too energetic. I feel pretty. That's about it. But. Um, Hopefully it was enjoyable. As I said, I learned a lot, and now I feel a lot more confident in my current game, I think. There's just a few gaps I have to plug. Uh, the next time I stream, which I don't think will be next week, it will probably be the week after. So I hope everybody enjoyed this... <laughs> I wouldn't say educational, I'd say lengthy, painful adventure in trying to build floating vessels. <laughs> And I hope everybody has a great Sunday and a great coming weekend.